S&Ps are flat. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show right here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, a max strength probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You see it on the right-hand side. You see Master and Probability. You just hit that button. You hit subscribe. You can get Master and Probability for one month for $149. Six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593.33%. Now, when you get it, folks, bottom line, not only going to get a great newsletter, but Steve has a huge amount of other information out there that he sends to his subscribers each and every day. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Game time, baby. 7.30. Yes, it is game time. I know. that We got that goal last night or the night before. Was it last night? Yeah, it was last night. Two nights ago. Two nights ago. Right. Last night it was our turn for your Bruins to, you know, kick a little yes. South Florida butt, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the Bruins are uh, and they're they're always such a good team. You know, you've 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 had for most of your lifetime, I think you've had a pretty good team to root for, haven't you? We have, because even when I was a kid, when I was a kid, that I mean, that's when that's when the you know Montreal and Toronto were great, but the Bruins yeah. could fight. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, at Marchand, I, so I picture you as a hockey player, kind of being like Marchand. And you know, just this tough guy out there who's always in the right place to score a goal, it seems like. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, it's so funny, but that's when it was player. so long ago. I was a defenseman, and that didn't even make any sense, but I could box, so I could fight. So, And what happened then, folks, Peewees could fight. That's what's so crazy. Yeah, that's how it was. It was yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> crazy. But I looked, I looked to see, just in case you don't have a ticket, they're going for between two and 300, you know, for the for the good seats out there. So just in case you want to catch them. That's not bad. Not yeah, bad. Right. No, it's really really yeah. not not that bad of a price but I'll, i'm sure i'll be watching it and snoring by the uh, third period i listen i know man i was, I was the other so night I, I i was starting but i was i had it loud enough that i could hear the whole thing and i heard the goal is i can't believe this man yeah yes exactly yeah, well, well, you know that that becomes hard when you're getting to overtime Yes. <laughs> you know, because right. now you and I were, and we were both, I'm up, you know, five something. Exactly. Morning, yeah. And so we're both like, oh my God, we've made it this far. Right. Do I just shut it off? I know, it man. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. But hey, look, okay. you mentioned there's a lot of useful information inside the Mastering Probability newsletter. I thought we'd start the, the session uh, by taking a look at what some of that information is, just so that our listeners and viewers, you know, can see that. So Tom Below is a, is a current market outlook for the daily and the weekly time frames. And, and these are for the equity futures, for index ETFs, the sectors of the S&P 500. Subscribers uh, get the, uh, this daily. Now this is a, a condensed version of what they get, but what's nice about this for, for just for every individual is you, you're able to pick up the newsletter and let's just say you're trying to understand what's going on inside the spies. What is it, um, you know, what does mastery and probability uh, identify as its current outlook. And here you'll see that it shows for the daily time frame, it's in a consolidating bull. And for the weekly time frame, it's bullish. Same thing with regard to the ES Mini. So if we go over and we take that just to try to tie this together here, uh, the market conditions that are required for what I referred to as a consolidating bull, there's three things, and these are all listed inside the newsletter. So it's very easy to follow along with a, a chart and, and the outlook that we have. So for a consolidating bull, and in here, I tell people that if you have an instrument and for that time frame, if that's your primary time frame and you have a consolidating bull, that you should continue to hold uh, that stock. And this requires a price oscillator to be above zero. Well, when this green and red line, Tom, on this chart here, when it's green, it tells us the price oscillator is above zero. So that's the first check. The second is prices trading below the oscillator and change line. Well, that's also that green and red line. So it was doing that when I took this snapshot. Yes. And then number three, it needs to be trading with inside the profile. I refer to it sometimes use the word box, uh, even though it doesn't necessarily, it's not a, a total box because there's no lines on the left or right hand side. So it needs to be trading with inside that profile. So this is what makes up a consolidating bull. If we take a look at what makes up an instrument that's just bullish, well, the price asset is above zero. Now, this is for the weekly time frame that we're taking a look at. So here, that green, that that red green line had turned green last week. So we have that condition. Price is trading above that oscillator and change line, which it is doing. And price here is also trading with inside this uh, this box. So in a snapshot for uh, primary instruments, uh, people are able to go and see exactly 
what their instrument is doing for their time period. So this market analyzer here, Tom, this takes a look at the top 10 weighted instruments with inside the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell, the semiconductors. So all the primary stuff nice. that folks will call us about uh, trying to understand, you know, what's an instrument doing. And here, what I've done is I've broken these down. We show, well, I show both the, the daily, the weekly, the monthly, a 15 minute time frame, a 30 minute time frame, a 65 and the 130. And then what I also show are the other signals that are associated with that instrument. Is it identifying a potential top or a bottom? Uh, a rodentum indicator top or bottom? Is it uh, generating a potential TD9 count? And the TD9 count, what folks will pay attention to, Tom, are the ones that have stars next to them. Because if it's got a star next to it, it's telling you that it qualifies as either a top or a bottom. It also provides the, the, the current uh, Chapman wave uh, counts. Uh, different levels of support or resistance, whether it's the oscillator and change line, which we referred to, or the TD9 count support or breakdown resistance levels, or just simply the TAS market profiles that you and I looked at. And it just also provides the information when was the last TD9 count top and the last TD9 count bottom. So subscribers receive this information and in a heartbeat. They can go take a look at, you know, what's Google doing? It's in a consolidating bull for its daily time frame. It's a consolidating bear for its weekly time frame. And it's a breakout for its monthly time frame. So it really kind of speaks to the market that we've seen here. Just that one instrument, it's fairly choppy out there, right? We've got a yes, different yes. signal for the daily, a different signal for the uh, the weekly chart out there. This market analyzer here, Tom, this is provided in the uh, end of day reports that I produce. And this is really great for those folks that are managing their IRAs or their 401ks. Uh, these are the wealth management portfolios, the typical wealth management portfolios that are used. And so I give two different ones out there. The bottom one's actually one that came from with inside uh, TD Ameritrade. And what they had suggested, and a breakdown between U.S. equities, foreign equities, fixed income, you know, in other categories. So this is really great for those folks managing their 401ks. This market analyzer is a review of the top 60 companies by market cap here in the United States. And if you just take a look at the daily time frame for these, you're not going to see a ton of them that are bullish at this moment. So that really speaks to our market as well. Uh, here's a market analyzer that provides, and this is what uh, folks get each morning. So this is the big morning report, shows you exactly where instruments are trading, what their current market conditions are. And then in addition to that information, I also summarize, so they get this snapshot each day, telling them for each instrument for their daily time frame, so that's gold, silver, copper, crude oil, T-bonds, T-notes, uh, the ES, the NQ, the YM, the Russell 2000, and what's going on inside the U.S. dollar index out there, as well as market breadth statistics. The ES mini is forming a new profile, and that's on the upper left-hand side. And what you should notice here is that those the new profile, Tom, is contained with inside the older profile. That typically means that what we should prepare for is further consolidating markets out there. So that's just a brief overview of what's contained inside the uh, newsletter. One last point, you had mentioned, hey, the market should be higher today with the U.S. dollar index being lower. This chart here takes a look at that correlation. And what we can see here, Tom, in that yellow rectangle area, that inverse correlation is starting to go away. And that's what this chart, and this is over a five-day average. So it's not the same way with regard to gold. Here we can see in gold, that inverse correlation still exists. But with regard to the ES-mini, it's starting to wane. So I wonder what that means. And listen, folks, it's very easy. Get all the information. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go to News says You're going to see Master Imperability right on the right-hand side. Steve, have a great one. Safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take Thank care. Thank you. Stay right there, folks.